So over the last few years on the internet, AI has became a pretty big part of it, I would say. And while it harbors, in my opinion, a lot of tools that could be used for malicious intent and can even be pretty dangerous at times, I think there's still really funny ways you can utilize AI and actually use it for some good things. So in today's video, I thought we would take an AI chat interface and incorporate it into Animal Jam. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do this for other games and I figured you know, without I've been doing videos over the last few years, I tried to incorporate other ideas into, you know, how can I make it work with Animal Jam? So today I thought I would make an AI pretty much play Animal Jam for me. Before I want to get into that though, we will ask if I should advertise my YouTube giveaway. And as it is yapping on here, I'm just going to put it on screen. For the blue headdress giveaway, all you got to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and then drop a comment down below letting me know what you thought of the video. And and additional entries can be found in the description below. But uh, we'll just go ahead and delete this because that's still yapping on. So we're going to go on to Animal Jam here. We're going to log out of my main account here, my little not member toucan. And we're just going to create an account. So we're going to start over fresh from a brand new account here. And we're going to be met with the average uh, eight animals you are always met with here. So we're just going to start off simple. What animal should I use on my Animal Jam account? I'm just going to say give me one option it's telling me to go with the arctic wolf but uh, i can't i can't really do that that's like not an option here so uh i can't do that give me another one give me a non-member option i would choose the fox but go with the wolf okay we're going with the wolf here so it's already selected for us so that's really good uh now it is telling us to create a name so what should i make the name of the wolf okay it's saying shadow moon what three words Words should I make the wolf's name? Okay, Shadow, Magic Wolf, Lunar Frostpaw, and Silent Night Howl. So I, I think the only option here that like you could actually make in it, uh, I think it's this. So we'll just make it that. Um, okay, Shadow is not an option, but uh, I'm pretty sure Magic Wolf is. Yeah, there is Magic and there's Wolf. Um, we'll just choose the closest option to Shadow, which I guess would be Sheriff in this situation. Or no, Sharp is probably closer, so we'll go with that. Um, we'll just choose the average thing here but now for the username here we're gonna say what is a unique username i should make my animal jam accounts so we got frost howler mystic paws echo moon nightshade wolf and lunar stride so i'm gonna guess most of these are probably taken uh yep that's taken how about mystic paws here probably also taken yep echo moon is probably also taken nightshade wolf is probably also taken and lunar stride is probably also taken Oh, no, Lunar Stride is available. Okay. Uh, now we're going to do uh, generate a strong password for me because Animal Jam has a lot of hackers now. So we're we're not going to we're not going to want people hacking into our accounts here. Now, I don't know why this AI is obsessed with the idea of Lunar Paw and just Lunar in general. So we're just going to go with this and we'll make it the password. I'm going to change it after this video, though, because I want people hacking into this account, even if it's a throwaway account for a video here so um the tutorial is pretty follow uh, you know straight through but we're gonna do it anyway and um, we're gonna ask the ai what i should make my animal colors and what eyes i should use and if i should use a pattern or not so i guess we'll peck as yap in a way we'll just ask what color should i make my wolf on animal jam okay whoa that's yapping away i'm just gonna say choose two colors for me how about midnight black and icy blue now these are two colors available um i guess it would be this and this there are like a pitch black and there is like a, a, a icy blue color as well but you have to use glitches to get those so i can't i can't exactly get them but this is the closest we're gonna get um what i uh, choose an eye shape for my wolf to sharp eyes okay so i'm i'm, I'm gonna just go with this I, I feel like this is like sharp eyes even though these are kind of like the evil eyes and we're gonna go choose a color for my eyes too okay it's just obsessed with ice blue um, and then should I have a pattern as well? Frosted or snowflakes? Choose a different pattern. Okay, we're not like a, a, a okay. We're, uh, we're not a snowflake air, air to cool. So we're gonna have to use a different pattern here, but I think stripes, uh, I guess this would be stripes. It's like the closest thing to stripes. Yep. Uh, we're gonna ask what color should I make the pattern? Silver or light gray? Okay, go with, uh, we'll go with this color, I guess. And that's, that's, that's the achievement done there. That's 
this is the tentacle outfit according to AI. So uh, we're just gonna skip over the rest of the tutorial here. And um, I guess that's our account mate. So now we're gonna ask, what is the first thing I should do on Animal Jam? Okay, it's given us a full list here. So check out the Jamagrams, see if you have any messages or gifts waiting for you for friends or the Animal Jam community. So uh, no, we don't, but I guess we can we can send a Jamagram. Um, we'll just send one to myself here because I have no friends here. But um, yeah, I mean, these are these are the Jamagrams, all right. They're they're pretty cool. You know, they've added a lot more options now, which I I, I do like. They add some of the original options too. So we'll we'll just send it there. We got we got another achievement. So visit your den. Head to your den and start decorating. This is the best way to express your personality and create creativity. Okay, so it's already decorated for us, but I guess we could just you know switch up on it a little bit here. You know, actually do the tutorial. Not that many people probably do this. And um, we uh we saw flock the game somehow. I don't know how I did that, but uh, this is not going the greatest. But uh here we go. We can just put our daily spin in as well. And there we go. This is uh this is my crib here. AI certified, I guess. Fourth option here, go on an adventure and start exploring the different areas of Jamal. This will help you get familiar with the game's activities, games, and hidden gems. Now while well, let's just go on an adventure. It's not telling me to actually do this. It's just telling me to, to go to Jamal, you know, go around the lands, I guess. Um, I guess they're trying me to play a mini game that you would find in the land. So I guess we'll go with Jamal Derby, one of the best. So here we have it. We're waiting for other horses, even though it's just going to randomly generate AI. So this is kind of fitting that we're playing this because the, these these horses that are about to line up, they're all robots. Actually, this second person might be a real person because they kind of just showed up out of nowhere. But uh, as for everybody else, like in these decorated horses, these are all AIs that Animal Jam has, which I've made a, I made a video on a couple years ago. But as I said, it looks quite fitting, I guess, for this kind of video that I'm going against them. I'm going to try win against them, even though it's not looking too good. Usually I'm a, I'm a champion at this game, but we had some lapses of judgment there at the early part of the game. But we'll take a second place just for this. And there we have it. There we have it. So there we go. Then the next option is complete quests or play games. If you are looking to earn gems or new items, try completing some quests or playing mini games in the game world. So I guess quests would be referred to as adventures. I'm not going to play an adventure. I have enough trauma after every video that I've played on this er, done on this channel. The amount of videos I've done that have resorted me to playing adventures in these videos. I'm sick of them. So we're gonna say what else can I do on Animal Jam? See this time it's more specific here. So it's saying play best trust to Phantom's Revenge. Um, I don't think Phantom's Revenge is a thing. I guess maybe Phantom Fighter is the closest thing to that or Phantom's Treasure. There's a lot of Phantom mini games, but nothing called Phantom's Revenge. Or you know what? It's probably referring to the Revenge of the Phantoms or Return of the Phantom. I don't even know, bro. This is why AI is not a good thing. <laughs> it's not a good thing that it's taking over the entire world. How many classics like Ocean Adventure and Temple of Zyos are great fun? I don't know where the correlation between these two are, but we'll, I guess we'll just go to the Temple of Zyos. We'll just chill out here while we're reading this. We've already done this. Uh, get one adventure, join an Animal Drama Adventures. Okay, we're not doing this. Trade with other players. Trade items with other players to get new clothing, furniture, or special pets. Collect rare items to enhance your collection. This is a good, it's a It's a good tip. And uh, there's there's somebody here. Um, they might be a little bit out of our budget, so we'll have to abandon, uh, abandon the, the Zyos for right now. But um, let's find somebody to trade. Maybe we can get lucky here, even though we have literally nothing to our name. The rest of these tips are pretty good as well, but we're just going to ask how can I get trades? Visit the trading room. The trading post is the main location. Start a trade with other players. Offer items to trade. Agree or counter. Okay, this is this is not going to be the best. Okay, we'll, we'll just try trade uh, this person here for, for their rare mask. Uh, yeah, they, 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 uh, they declined. Of course they would. Kind of the issue when you start playing this game on a fresh account, you don't have any items you can trade. It's all just a look on if somebody is going to be nice enough to give you something for free pretty much or if you actually do want to spend your time like playing any adventures but we'll revisit these tips here so um adopt a pet we can do that so uh the only non-member pet we can buy is a hamster so i'm not gonna bother asking what pet i should choose but we're gonna ask it what are two colors i should make my pet so emerald green and and midnight black oh wait no that's just saying it complements my wolf's theme so emerald green and soft lavender so I, I guess this would be 
emerald green and this is i guess this, i guess one of these two is the uh, closest to soft lavender we'll ask the same kind of questions what should i what shape should i make its eyes round eyes okay this is probably the roundest eyes and you know i would ask what body nose and pattern shape i should make it but i feel like it's just gonna struggle plus all these are pretty similar now that i'm looking at the hair is a bit different but we'll ask the name we'll ask the name should i make my pet luna spark give me another name frost whisker that actually might be something you can do frosty it's like pretty close but uh, I, I feel like whisker you could probably make it nope we'll just make a frosty whistle and there we go we got our first pet in order pretty darn great we're looking great i don't know how this complements my wolf at all but it's pretty funny that it's actually like keeping in mind of what color my wolf is next it's telling us to join a party which well that's a little awkward because the horse is only party is on and i'm not i, I can't even see how long it's wait like it, it has until the next party but either way i'm not waiting it's telling me to make friends so i'm just gonna buddy this person see if they accept okay it doesn't look like they did oh no they did thank you uh odncd thank you for being my friend <laughs> see we're just zooming through this little guide the ai has made it's very similar to the following the aj guide video but i feel like this one is a lot more sporadic anyway so do daily challenges i guess that would be the daily spin which we already did and then achievements we've already did as well and discover new places like Serapia Forest and Crystal Sand. Some more exclusive areas when you level up and participate in special events. Okay, so I guess it's just gonna give me the same kind of things over and over. It's gonna tell me to, you know, go to parties, trade, buddy people, and explore new lands and do adventures, because I guess that is really the most you can do in the game. Now, this game is a lot more lively when you're, like, focusing on, like, trading, for example. Uh, we're in Alden, so I guess we could hop, head on in here. Uh, we can uh, see the people trading and stuff. There was a person that declined my trade earlier, but yeah, I would have liked to do something more, maybe convoluted for this video but i mean if you're asking an ai like what to do specifically on a game that probably is not the most searched anymore it's probably not gonna know how to tell you to play it in the best of ways but yeah we're just gonna wrap it up here i guess do make sure to subscribe if you want to make sure to subscribe when notifications on want to see more videos like this one in the future do make sure to leave a like on it if you did enjoy it and do let me know in the comments section below what you guys thought of it and yeah i guess i will catch you guys in the next one